Hello everybody and welcome back to Those Four Gaming. We're back to give another video today. And so the other day, Star Breeze, one of the developers for the Payday series, had either took over the Payday series or just started helping them out back in May of 2016, I believe. Could be wrong, don't hold me to it, but they pretty much came out with the confirmation for the next installment in the Payday series called Payday 3. But there's a little catch to it. We actually will not be seeing this game for a while, along with updates on the game. I'm also going to say this now, that there is actually not too much information on this, just a little statement that the CEO of star breeze had to say about it that is pretty much all that's going to be said in this video nothing too much so star breeze pretty much came out with the confirmation for the next installment in their 2016 year end financial reports and this is actually what um anderson cliff clint the ceo of star breeze had to say about it now this is a long statement bear with me here i'll be talking about it in segments of what he had to say it is with great satisfaction that we also can announce that payday 3 production is officially initiated and at a full design stage i'd like to especially clarify that this project will enjoy as much time as we deem needed it will be done when it's done this is our single most important brand today and the cornerstones of our business, and we will treat it accordingly. Updates in the near future might be scarce and far between. You simply just don't rush Payday 3. And they don't want to rush it at all. They want to put as much time as they need fit into this game. So there's not going to be no bugs or anything like that in the game when it's first released. You know, they, they're going to... There's actually no deadline for the game. They will not have a deadline. There's no set release date. Not even too much information. And along at the very end here, updates in the near future might be scarce and far between. So that right there pretty much means that we will not be hearing anything else about Payday 3 for a while now. Either... You know, a few months from now, here in May, maybe even, maybe even after, maybe even sooner. But we will not be hearing any type of updates on Payday 3, like what the game's going to be about, what it's going to be like, differences, game modes, weapons, anything like that, anything that has to do with Payday series. Now, I played Payday 2 back when, um... It was on the Xbox 360, but I played it after the um, a year or two of the release of the one on the Xbox One. Actually, I don't even know when it was released on the Xbox One, but I played it after the release of that. And honestly, my experience with it was not too good, only because not too many actually played it on the 360. So, I got a very little um, experience with it. I didn't play it too much because nobody really played it. I paid 20 bucks for it to play it, but nobody played it. That's the thing. But I'm pretty sure a hell of a lot of people actually played on the PC, PS4, and also the Xbox One. So if I get it on there, I will probably have a much better time with it than I did on the 360. I'm actually going to say this now. Probably a lot of you probably won't agree with me on this. You know, the handful of you will and a handful of you won't. But I actually like it and I actually prefer when video game companies actually take their time with their games. Because that just means that they're doing everything they possibly can to make this game as flawless as possible. Making sure that there is no little bugs and that is up to their and also the fans standard. Me personally, I don't mind too much when the game is actually delayed or the developers are taking their time with it. It just means that they want you to enjoy the game to the fullest with no little bugs. I wrote that down in my journal because I couldn't come up with anything better to do. To say, you know, I don't mind whenever... A video game is delayed or developers taking their time because they're going to make it as best as they can. The best experience you will have with it for the fans because I'm pretty sure fans of Payday want a good sequel to it. You know, they don't want a fucking rushed game. You know, do you want a rushed game for Payday 3? Because I honestly, I don't. I don't. I haven't even played any of the Payday series, but I don't want them to rush it. I actually want them to take their time with it. I hope you guys actually make sense of what I'm trying to say or this makes sense or anything like that because I could be rambling right now. But Star Breeze will continue to support Payday 2 with DLC and updates till the Payday 3 release or maybe even after the Payday 3 release. One of those, you know, I'm pretty sure they'll still support it a little bit after like a few months after the Payday 3 release. But we will be seeing updates and everything like that. Now, on the Polygon website, yeah, I know I use Polygon for absolutely everything. It's probably a turn off for most people. But they say nearly 40 add-ons in all have been made for Payday 2. That right there is a shitload of add-ons, even if they're free or not free, even if they were just in the updates like how Halo 5 does everything is just free and updates and it's all up to microtransaction that it turns me off so badly like i said they will be continuing to support payday 2 as much as they can for as long as they can that which to me is awesome because i plan on paying playing payday 2 on the xbox one because that's what i have i play it on my pc but i doubt my laptop can run it but I think there's nothing else for me to talk about. Well, actually, I might as well mention this. Now, back in May, I'm reading this off this website here. Back in May of last year, there was actually a passing reference to Payday 3, but with no details offered. 
Now, that's pretty much saying that the developers of the Payday series actually did kind of tease a little bit of the Payday 3, either with like a little statement they made, a picture or something like that. I don't know. They pretty much teased Payday 3 back in May of 2016, which honestly, I can't stand it when people do that. And it's like, oh, I want it so bad. And then they just fucking tease you with it. Now, that's just a turn off, my man. Not really. But other than that, guys, I think I'm just rambling now. I think I'm end off the video there. If you guys liked it, don't forget to like, maybe subscribe. You know, if you feel like I'm worthy enough. Enough. And as always, don't forget to put your thoughts and comments down in the comment section below. Let me know what you think about this. Are you guys excited for Payday 3? Did you understand what the fuck I was trying to tell to you? Tell you or anything like that? What? Let me know down there below. And as always, I want you to have a good day, night, afternoon. Whatever time you guys are watching this, as always, keep it old. It's gonna catch you guys in the next video. Later, and as always, thank you for watching.